So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start the horse. This is, this is my sketch. This is like my thumbnail sketch for what I'm going to be doing at a, at a larger scale. You see, I've got proportion charts here. And everything, of course, is based upon proportion. So a standard horse of 15 hands, which is 5 feet or 60 inches, will have a head that is 2 feet long. So what I will, will do here is I'm going to create a framework for the torso of this horse. Here we go. This is nothing else. I can start tying balloons for a living. These two wires, one will imitate the, uh, the spine of the horse, while the other will be for the, the tail. This is kind of like magic to me, this whole deal. Making art in general is kind of like magic. From whence does it come? So what I'm just trying to do at this point is to arrive at a profile, a silhouette, that I'm, at, once I'm happy with that, I'll, I'll plug the legs in. These are gonna be my legs. Well, here I'm working with the pelvis to create the, the femur and the corresponding bones down to the, down to the hoof. The front of the rib cage here is almost like the keel of a boat or the prow or the what bow prow, I don't The front of a boat where it comes together at a point. The shoulders travel over the cross, across the top of the, that rib cage. So if it were cylindrical all the way, they'd have to paddle. I've, I've got that volume of that rib cage kind of established. See how he narrows behind the, behind the shoulder? That's to accommodate that, that joint where he's moving it forward and backward. You know, it's, sculpting is in many ways like drawing in three dimensions. You're always looking for that edge or that line that defines the shape. I'm defining shapes and volumes so I can find low spots and high spots. I'm trying to get that shape of that rib cage knocked in there where I want it and also define the shape of the, the hindquarters. One thing you have to learn how to do is you have to learn how to see. When you're starting, it just seems like an insurmountable task, and you just keep adding to that knowledge base, building on that. Leading the herd. The thing is, is the right title will help sell a piece. It shouldn't, but you know, people want to identify with whatever they have in their homes. It enhances and enriches someone's life. I mean, it's just. What can be wrong with that? The best sculpture or painting any of you would ever do is the next one. The next one. It's not the one you just did. I think there's got to be enough emotion imbued in something that you know if it if it's a if it's a a rendering of a of a horse or anything if it has no heart to it then it's just a lifeless thing and i think that's the secret to any art is trying to bring life to what you're working on